Hey guys, how's it going? Nuka here, and today I have for you my pickups that I've actually put into my collections for July and August combined. So I forgot to do this for last month. So some of this, uh, if you've watched my videos, you're going to see from the garage sale pickups, Nuka's video game pickups, the garage sale ones, and some of this you're, I have not shown at all. So let's just go ahead and start. Alright, so... This was in addition to my collection, uh, it's the PS1, and it came with the controller, and somewhere around here I have the, yeah, I put them away already, I have the uh, AV cable and the power cord, so that was, in I did not have that before, um, stay in the PlayStation mindset, I guess, you guys did see this, the, uh, in a previous video if you watched, the PSP, um, I ended up getting this. Actually, everything I'm going to show you has basically cost me nothing because I have been buying and um, flipping the stuff that I don't want. So this is all paid for itself plus. So uh, that's in really good condition. I'm excited to have that. I've been wanting one for a while. And just got Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Uh, Luminese, Puzzle Fusion. Hot Brain. Um, I got this is the box dual pack ensemble of Motor Storm, Arctic Edge, and Twisted Metal Head On. Um, Go Sudoku. Sudoku, Sudoku. Um, if anybody is looking for PSP games, right now is the prime time to deal with GameStop. And here's why. If you get on their website, I couldn't find this game anywhere. Um, I couldn't, I, I wasn't, couldn't find it on um, eBay. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I got on on um, GameStop's website, and I googled the name of it, you know, through the search engine, and it was not in any of my my stores that are near me, like within like you know a mile or two. So. I looked at other game stops you know, to pick it up now, and I found this game within five miles of me, and it was listed for uh, 99 cents. So we went there, because I really wanted it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, I'm a puzzle game person, I like that kind of stuff, especially for handhelds. So we, we go over there, and I walk in, and I didn't see any PSP games, and the guy says, can I help you? And I said, well, I'm looking for a specific game. It says you have it online. I said, it's a PSP game. And he said, right away off the bat, he says, we no longer sell PSP games. And I said, well, your website says you have it. <laughs> and then he goes, well, we do have some in the back. They're supposed to be going to corporate. And he did not say that they were going to be scrapped, but he said they will be no longer be selling them. So I'm assuming that they're like taking them all to corporate and then they do that sale on the site where like they did with PS2, PS2 games if you buy, you know, they're all marked down then if you buy one you get one free. So I'm assuming that's what they were going to do, that's what they are going to do. Uh, or maybe they're just going GameStop, maybe they're just going to destroy them all, I don't know. But, um, so he brought me out a list. Uh, he brought this game out, and I said, well, can I see the others? He said, no, I really can't do that, but I'll give you a list. So he prints out a list and lets me see, and they had some titles that I know people are kind of looking for. I mean, I know um, they had the Grand Theft Auto one, and I know that is pretty sought after. Um, for cheap, I think it was $14. I don't know. That's expensive. I wouldn't pay that for it, but you could still... I mean, that's what they're going for on eBay and stuff, because I looked it up, because I sold one. So, you just... You gotta, you know, be careful. But if there's something you want that's not a popular game, such as this, you know, try out your local game stops. Look them up online. If they t go... If you go in there and they tell you they, keep, they don't have PSP games, just say, well, the website says you have it in stock, and chances are they have it in the back. And then I got um, Sendoku, Zendoku. Uh, this is a fun little game. It's kind of like a little role-playing game with uh, Sudoku. 
So it's, it reminds me of a Puzzle Quest. I love Puzzle Quest. If anybody's ever played Puzzle Quest, it's kind of like that. And then, um, let's see, I got some Genesis games. Aladdin, which killed me because I just sold the case in the box because I had had the case for it for like, I don't know, a year, a year and a half. And I never ran into the game, so I was like, screw it, I'll just sell it. I sold it, and then I found the game. It was like within two days, two days of each other. Uh, Batman Forever. For the 32X Star Wars. Um, this one is Batman Returns. And as you can see, it's got some sticker residue. I still have to get off. And then I got Sonic and Knuckles. So, there's that. I think I got these at a Goodwill. Um, excuse me. And then I guess I got more PlayStation. So this is a PlayStation 2, uh, Castlevania, Lament of Innocence. It's really getting hard to read things in my old age. Whew. So anyway, yeah, um, this was one of the cases I got in the four box uh, lot of case case artwork manual. A lot, and um, I really wanted this game, wanted to try it out. And I got on eBay and I found the game for 99 cents. I want it for 99 cents. So that that's that one. And I got uh, Dragon Ball Z Sagas and Star Wars Lego Star Wars the video game. Uh, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. Some of these I really didn't want. They, they were in lots I bought. Um, and then they're just not worth even trying to sell them. They're just worth so little. I decided I'll just put them in the collection, whatever. You know, or trade them off, I guess, eventually, whatever. Um, if somebody wants them. Army Men, uh, Green Rogue. Um, which I'm excited to have that one, because I think I have all the other ones for PlayStation 2. Um, and then we have more PlayStation. Um, so, yeah, I got Tetris Plus. That was in a game lot I picked up two weeks ago. I believe the one that I like recorded twice and then accidentally deleted twice and just gave up. <laughs> so there's no video of those pickups that weekend. Uh, the number Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Oh, I did have this in Greatest Hits, so I just just traded it for the Black Label. So this is going into my collection, and I'm selling the Greatest Hits. Specs Spec Ops Ranger Elite. Then this one is pretty, I'm excited about this one, uh, Grand Theft Auto, the director's cut. And then I found this in a thrift store. And when I opened it up, it actually had this disc in it, which, wow, well, damn lid is in the way, here. It actually had this disc in it, which is, as you see, it says not for sale, it is a demo disc of Spyro the Dragon. Um, which was cool, but it wasn't what I expected. I was excited because I have this in Greatest Hits, but I didn't have it in Black Label. So, I went, got on eBay, tracked one down for pretty dirt cheap, actually bid on it and won it, and now I have a complete and really good condition copy of Spyro the Dragon. Black Label. So I'm excited about that. And then uh, this is just some label that... Like, this is actually the case that this disc was sent in from eBay, and he had just made the, the, the you know, the case, just printed it out. So yeah, so now I have the demo disc and the black label version of Spyro the Dragon, which is awesome because I love Spyro the Dragon. Um, let's see, I have ended up keeping Carnival Games because it's not worth a squat. And, um... I don't remember exactly how this came to be. I think this was an accidental pickup at a Goodwill. And we had, like, it was like that half off day or whatever. And I think my husband accidentally picked this up and it was in the stack of stuff that we bought. Because that day I also bought a Dreamcast. But I won't show you that because it's already boxed up and sold. So, um, yeah, it's gone. But yeah, this, um, I don't know how the hell I got it, Hannah Montana, but it ain't worth a squat. Um, so if this is something I would list and it would just sit there, so whatever. Um, I, I guess it's in my collection now. I gotta pay more attention to what's going on to the counter. Uh, then I got, uh, these are the rest of our Xbox games. 
uh, Project Gotham Racing 2, which, again, was part of a lot, and I, I just, it's not worth crap, so. Uh, the Simpsons Hit and Run, this was actually $1.99 at the Goodwill. Uh, we had a coupon, or the half day, or whatever they call it. They're like half sticker day, different colors or whatever. So I think we got it for like a buck. But um, the disc has a scratch in it. And it's actually, this game is actually, on eBay anyway, it goes for like 11 12 13 dollars sometimes. It's from what I could find. But I kind of want to keep it. The disc does have a scratch. I can get that taken care of. In fact, I, it may still play. I don't know. It's not really that bad of a scratch. And then um, I was at Disc Replay, and I had I found this, Destroy All Humans, for the Xbox, and Destroy All Humans 2 for the Xbox. I have these on PS2, but I really like Xbox, so I decided I wanted these. I paid $10 in credit for the two of them, which I, you know, stuff I can't get rid of or whatever, I just... I'll take it in there sometimes and just trade it in. And the guy, they actually give pretty good credit. This this replay, I was really surprised. Um, I mean, it's not, it's much better than GameStop anyway. So you know, this is stuff that's I'm I got this with stuff that I couldn't get rid of. So I just made it work for me in a different way. Um, and Forza Motorsport, I think I got that at the Goodwill also. And this. Trivial Pursuit was part of a lot, I believe, uh, two weeks ago. It's not worth a crap. It'll stay in my collection. Uh, the Ghost Recon 2 isn't worth anything. I'll keep it. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter isn't worth anything. I'll just keep it. Uh, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. Again, not worth hardly anything. I'll keep it. Um, the Platinum Hits. Tom Clancy's Platinum Hits. It's a classic trilogy. Bush Recap, Splinter Cell, Rainbow 6-3. Again, not worth crap. I'll keep it. I think these are ones I bought for a dollar and like a lot and that'd be a dollar a piece. Um, I don't mind having them in my collection. It doesn't bother me. It's pretty cool. Actually, because my Xbox collection is kind of thin. Um, and then there's Sega Superstar Tennis, which I will... That was another dollar one. Um, it's been in the sun. The spine is faded. You can see where it says Xbox. It's not green. It's like it's like a light blue, and I think it's faded. I mean, it looks faded to me. I mean, maybe that's just the colors of it because it was a special edition. I don't know, because this is actually the one that comes with the um, one of the consoles. And then I got uh, Sly Two, the Band of Thieves. That was something I picked up for. In a lot. I, I may have paid 50 cents for it, I think. I don't know. Um, it does not have a manual. It does not have cover art, but um, I figure in time I may just run across it somewhere. And then, yeah, I'll move this. Got yeah, two more items. Um, I did keep most of the, the, the uh, GameCube games that I had picked up uh, about three weeks ago, uh, but you know, they are, I put them away so. Like with in my collections, and I don't remember which ones I got there. Okay, this is the online uh, startup disc version 3.0 for the PlayStation 2, and then the very last thing is my new Super Nintendo controller. It's not new, but it's new to me. Uh, I got this at a Savers, and I think I may have paid five dollars for it. I think um, it's been a while. I think it was five dollars. I picked this up in July. So I was really excited about this because my Super Nintendo did not have a Nintendo branded controller, but now it does, so that's cool. And that is it for my pickups from July and August that I actually put into my collection. Um, anybody that's watching this that doesn't like the fact that I flip games, um, you know, you should really rethink your thinking process because if you are strapped on cash or, um, you know, really. I mean, it's just stupid to uh, pay for th things when you can, we can pay for them, but when you can flip games or things that you don't want to get the stuff you do want basically for free, I mean, it's free. I, all this I didn't pay a penny for, and I made money. I ended up making money, which is cool, because that will go back into the gaming or for bills, which actually some of it has gone into bills.
not working right now. So if I want to keep expanding my collection, this is what I have to do. And it takes a little bit of effort to do it, but I'm fine with that. It keeps me busy, it keeps me motivated, and um, with my anxiety issues, it gets me out of the house. So I think that's great. So, yeah. If, if you're in a tight, tight spot, this is always an option to keep expanding your collection. Just make some cash. So, um, yeah. So, as always, thanks for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.